professional learning communities at Trailblazer look like a meetings every Friday with our K2 teams. We all have data that we're bringing to the table that we're looking at across grades K through two to see um, what the trends are in the data and what student needs are, as well as uh, what interventions and resources are gonna best fit each student's need. Julianne um, is red composite. She yo-yos up and down on her Dibbles data. I recommend a, a literacy-based summer school as well. Talking about data is what I would say is enlightening. I mean, it helps us to see where the kids are at, what they need, what their strengths are. Um, it, it just basically allows teachers to uh, drive their instruction as to uh, what each individual child needs. So I find it enlightening. We use student data to determine next steps for our students as well as for remediation as well as for enrichment purposes. If I'm running a group of fluency practice for kids and Mr. Gertzema has a second grader or Ms. Postgate has a first grader that needs a similar skill, then we can use the data provided and given in classrooms to meet their needs and give them the interventions that they need or the enrichment that they need. We can have data-rich conversations across our team so that across our team, we all know the kids and their data and where they are in their next steps for learning and we can meet them at their next steps. So I think maintaining that um, continued practice and text would be good so I would definitely recommend her for the summer. So kind of a combination of the tech-based intervention and then also having her in text? Yeah, in text. Yeah, yeah controlled print without question. If there is a time where I am stuck and don't have the answers to what that student needs. My teammates and I have already talked about that student and their data, and so we can come together as a team to form a plan for that student with more heads at the table and more resources available.